Hello YouTube, welcome back to Run Level Zero. I've been excited to bring this episode to you because we're going to be looking at a Linux distro that I believe raises the bar on what is possible within a Linux desktop environment. We're looking at Linux Deepin 2014. Now I looked at Deepin 2013 last year and I was impressed by the groundwork that had been laid and I can say without a doubt that this project continues to grow by leaps and bounds. So many times when I see a Linux distro or what is called a new Linux distro, so many times it's just where somebody has taken a base of Ubuntu or Debian, slapped on a new wallpaper, maybe some icons and switched out you know, Firefox for, for Chrome and they're gonna call it a new distro. And I'm sorry but those get boring there's nothing that stands out you know when you go to create a new Linux distribution I believe that you should have one a clearly defined target audience that you are going to try to meet the needs of that specific audience and I also believe you should bring something unique to the table something that's not offered everywhere else Linux Deepin has that in spades and we're going to be taking a look at that in just a moment but I want to answer a few questions here that uh, I think are very relevant uh, when looking at this desktop environment. In my, I've really enjoyed my time I've spent with Deepin and this is a distro that I will without a doubt recommend to a new Linux user. This distribution has what is probably the most simple user-friendly installer that I've used on any Linux distro. And to top that off, when you first log in, there's even an interactive GUI or tutorial that shows you how to use the desktop, how to accomplish basic tasks. And it's not cheap looking, folks. This thing looks great. Uh, Linux Deepin has created their own desktop environment that we're going to explore in a minute, and it's the Deepin Desktop Environment. Um, one thing I will say, uh, this, this was developed in China and most of its support is in Chinese. I did, find a, I did have a hard time finding in-depth documentation in English. Uh, their website does provide an excellent overview of their distro, but I did find it a little lacking as far as resources go. And I wish, I, I did try to reinstall it. I tried to uh, film their excellent, excellent uh, tutorial, uh, first log on tutorial, but I was not able to capture it with my virtual. Uh, it's nothing on the, on the distro, it was just my inability to record it. Let's see, but from what I could find out, this uh, deep in desktop environment seems to be coded in HTML5. If it's not, if you know what it's coded in, please let me know, but I do believe this is HTML5 that it's coded in. Not only do they have an excellent user-friendly uh, desktop environment, but they have several apps that were developed by Deepin. Uh, they have Deepin Music, which we're going to look at. It is a music player. Deepin Movie, which plays movies. They have a screenshot utility. Uh, Deepin Store, which is their... Uh, their app store or their their application manager deepen game which is a software center developed by them and the deepen terminal we're going to take a look at all that here in just a moment in fact let's go ahead and fire up that virtual and so you can see what this looks like i mean this is a beautiful beautiful desktop as you're going to see now as is traditional with me this is installed in a virtual box, two gigabytes of RAM, two dedicated processors, and with all my virtuals I give them 64 meg of video uh, RAM just to keep things even across the board. Now I would not recommend Linux Deepin for an older machine. Now with two gig of RAM it, it does work with two gigs, but you're going to see that there is a little bit of lag. Um, I would recommend this for a, a newer system. You can get by 
with two gig of RAM, but I really don't think you're going to get the most out of it. You'll probably become frustrated pretty quickly. So you can see we have a nice logon screen here. Again, with this HTML5 coding, it kind of reminds me of uh, Mint's logon uh, manager there. So we're going to log into the desktop. It starts up fairly quickly, even, even on these slim resources. Logging in to Linux Deepin, you're going to see that we have one primary desktop with a quick launch along the bottom. Now this quick launcher has most of your applications that you're going to use on a daily basis here. And, I didn't mean to click on that, it does have a context menu. You have the option to keep it showing, keep it hidden, auto hide it, and you have some apps that you can choose to show or hide. The network control, the sound control, the power control. You can choose to, to hide or show that. Moving uh, from left to right, you have your application launcher which will launch the menu. We're going to look at the menu in just a minute. Uh, moving on, you have the Deepin Store. We'll go ahead and launch that and show it to you. This is one of those custom built apps and you can see that I am experiencing that lag here. So folks, do yourself a favor if you want to use this, use it on a newer system. Uh, the the uh, App Store here or their uh, the Deepin Store, their application manager is, I would consider it new user friendly because you do have the categorized uh, applications over here. So if you're looking for, say, a new web browser, you can go into Internet and it'll pull up uh, the web, uh, the not the web browser, but it'll pull up the Internet related applications for you. One thing that I would have liked to have seen here to make it a bit more new user friendly. Uh, would be subcategories. For you know, you click on internet if it would have shown you uh, web browsers, for example, email clients. Have those subcategorized. But as it is, it it is a very friendly, searchable application manager. One thing I would like to point out on all the Linux Deepin created uh, custom applications, you see this little shirt icon, because all of them are themable. So I thought that was pretty neat. That's, that's a nice little touch. You can change the color scheme and theme at will. Okay, let's close that out. Moving on. Let's see. Deepen Game. This is their game center, and this is pretty neat. It actually will link you to several online games, and they are categorized. Card game, puzzle game, strategy, and so forth. You know, I, I thought this was actually pretty cool. I mean, you can play around with it. A lot of them are in Chinese, but just remember, this is a Chinese-built distro. But, you know, there, there are plenty of English offerings, or whatever your language of choice is. Uh, so, yeah, have fun with that. Uh, I have not seen this before in any other distro. So, good on them. All right, moving on. We have Deep in Music. I'm not going to launch all of these, but... Deepin Music is an excellent music player. It does what it says. Same thing with Deepin Movie Player. Uh, you have Google Chrome, which is the web browser of choice here. The File Manager. Now this is based on Ubuntu. So with the File Manager, you're going to be looking at Nautilus. They simply call it Files. Let's see, you have the Control Center. We're going to get to the Control Center in a moment as well. Let's see, this is your, your network control center. You can choose to control your network or you, you know connect, disconnect, or go into airplane mode. So I thought that was pretty neat. As well as your power, this is, I am on a laptop, so it's showing me my charge is at 100%. Your volume. Uh, looks like we have a little kind of flub there. That This, I'm sure, is not... Uh, anything. I'm be honest, I don't know what that does. That might have something to do with the fact that I, I am running on a sluggish environment for this desktop, so I won't hold that against them for now. But here's your calendar and clock and your recycle bin. Your trash. Linux Deepin makes extensive use of hot corners. If you touch the upper left corner of your screen, it will launch the menu. 
Now this is kind of reminiscent of of Gnome 3, but you know the fact that it's a full page menu, I'm not going to call that Gnome 3ish. This is totally uh, totally Linux deep in the deep in envi desktop environment. Uh, the first thing you're greeted with are your favorites. You click on the little icon on the upper left and it, you come down to your categorized menu. So you have the internet, you get Google Chrome, Hex Chat, Pigeon Internet Messenger, uh, Remote Desktop Client, Skype, and Thunderbird for email. Moving down for multimedia, you get Brassero for your optical media. Again, Deepin Movie and Deepin Music. Under Games, you get Deepin Game. Let's see, scrolling down, and this is a scrollable menu as well. For graphics, you have the Deepin Screenshot Utility and Image Viewer. For productivity, you have the entire LibreOffice suite. For system, of course, you have Adobe Flash Player is installed, a link to the control center, the Deepin Store, uh, GW Package Installer, Gparted is in there for your partition management, printers, your system monitor, and your wireless driver manager. Under utilities, you have an archiver, calculator, uh, Deepin Bootmaker. This is another uh, utility kind of like UNet Bootin where you can build you can take the ISO the installation media and create a bootable thumb drive the Deepin terminal which is what it calls itself it's it's a terminal emulator uh, Deepin translator I haven't really played with this too much of course your uh, file browser fonts simple text editor and that's it as far as your menu goes. So yeah, one neat thing about this menu, you can right click on any icon, get a context menu. You can choose to open it. If it's in the favorites, you can choose to remove it from the favorites. If it's not in the favorites, you can add it to your favorites. You can also send it to the desktop, to the dock, add it to auto start, or you can uninstall it right from the menu. So I thought that was pretty neat. Right now I'm going to send this to the desktop because there's something I want to show you. We're also going to send HexChat to the desktop. So we'll click on send to desktop there too. And now if you click on any of the white space, it brings you it closes out that menu and brings you back to the desktop. Now you can see the two icons that we've added here. I'm going to take the HexChat, drag it on top of Google Chrome and drop it this creates an icon group on the desktop so now when I click on that it will give me the option to launch either of the applications that I choose so I thought that was pretty cool you know you don't see that very often another shining star in the in the uh, Linux Deepin distribution is its control panel the control panel is accessible either from the menu from the quick launch or from another hot corner. If you touch the lower right hand corner of the desktop, it'll pull open a slide out panel. This is your control panel. And I must say that this is one of the most elegant, well thought out control panels that I've ever seen on a Linux distribution. This is just a joy to work with. Everything is laid out logically for you and is very interactive and intuitive. If you click on your icon, it'll bring up options for your user accounts. I click on my account. You can see I can change any settings. My password, auto login, uh, recently used applications. I can change my icon. This is scrollable. I can add my own icon if I choose. If I click on the home icon, it takes me back to the home page. So I can adjust any of my settings from here. You can also adjust the boot menu and this is pretty cool I mean just you can drag and drop to change an image background default startup so if you're dual booting say you have your Windows installation or another Linux distro you can choose to uh, which one you want to boot up first change the boot delay the text color selected text color I mean you can choose anything in your menu from here so I thought that was really neat you can also reset it to defaults and from here you're going to reach your power options 
So you can shut down, restart, locks, you know, that sort of thing. Click on the desktop to cancel. All told, folks, I have really been impressed by Linux Deepin. I really can't say anything bad about it. This is one of the distros that I think you'll be happy using, whether you are a novice Linux user coming from Windows or from Mac. If you want a truly Linux experience to see what Linux has to offer, this is something for that type of, of adventurous new user. Or if you are a more seasoned Linux user, I think you'll find plenty here to keep you entertained and meet your needs. So I would encourage you to give this a try. Let me know what your experience is in Linux Deepin. Folks, I haven't been this excited about a Linux distro in a long time. And please, I please download this and at least give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment. Leave your questions, comments, or emotional outbursts in the comment section below. And I hope to be with you soon for another video. Thank you.